Awesome marathon, day two. We are ready, we just got some We're coffee. caffeinated, we are fueled, we have our uh, fresh walking feet on again. And uh, we're about to go to the expo, and we actually have to get out of here because there's a huge group of people there's all waiting to get people. their photo right behind yeah. us. We got in just in time. Woo, let's do it. Out of the wild. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. 10, 11, 30. 9, Boston's. Nine Boston yes. in a row. So we met in New York. We did. Yeah, and now yeah. we're back in Boston. We are back in Boston. Crazy. There's like, like 30,000 people in the city, and we just happen <laughs> to be going through at the same time. At the same time. The same time. I know, yeah. hello. Okay. Uh, I'm actually a uh, ultra runner, but uh, the one marathon I do each year is Boston. Oh, yes. <laughs> the expo and this is the official adidas part all of your official crazy adidas gear as you can see uh but look at this place you can't even get from one side to the other so much crazy stuff going on so we are going to go that way and skip this whole mess I'll see you in a bit all right so fun part of the expo is you get to try everything and especially when you're not racing, you get to do so in a not irresponsible way. So dab your finger on that. Yeah. So super silky smooth. Yeah, it's nice. Especially if your backpack. Oh yeah. So these things are so much quieter. Exactly. I remember the, the earlier ones, ones, they were so loud. So loud. It's not the construction side. Yeah. So much loud. And I appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, I think it's so cool what you're doing here. So what do we got? So we make a line of uh, CBD products that are derived from hemp, and we sell yeah. them online. We sell them at bike shops and running shops, stuff like that. Yeah. And people use it as a replacement for, you know, Advil, Tylenol. It's good for, um, it also good, kind of relaxing, mind relaxing, calming properties. So, here we go again. Not racing, so I get to try all the stuff at the expo, including the little Floyd's candy chew. A little strawberry. 25 milligrams of CBD. Let's check back a little later, see what happens. Mike, can you walk us through the new Ultra Escalani? Of course. Yeah. Mike doesn't know he's gonna be on camera. But you're gonna sneak it into him here. But we'll just ease in, right? Just dip the toe in the water. So you guys always do a Boston edition shoe. As you can see, this is kind of the Boston edition this year. We got these cool little details. And I had this, and then you got the 19. Um, and I had this shoe from two years ago, but you were saying how like this is a little bit different. Yep. So this is the Escalante racer, and then we have a normal Escalante, which she's wearing right now. The two main differences, we made the knit more static, meaning it's gonna hold your foot in place a little bit better when you go around corners. Yeah, because you were saying before, it's like the other one was like a little stretchier, so you kind of moved around a yep. little bit. And this is gonna hold you in place a lot better. Yeah. And then we made the foam firmer. Yeah. The old Escalante absorbed uh, your, your landing a little bit more, and this one's firmer, so you can bounce off the ground a little bit easier. better. Energy yeah. return. Yep. That's awesome. Definitely the biggest sticker that you're anyone's gonna get ever going to give you at this world's show. world's largest expo the sticker. The biggest expo sticker. Right here. Yeah, we're breaking records as we speak. We make socks. We make the best socks from, in the world. From this guy right here. Merino wool. Merino wool. Yeah, we, well, we, we, we make all kinds of socks. We also make synthetic socks out of Cool Max. Yeah. Um, but we make all of our socks in our mill yeah. in Northfield, Vermont. Yep. It's a family-owned mill. It's been there for over 45 years. And they are uh, third-generation sock manufacturers. 
And in Boston, you're right, it's a challenging course, I've run it many times. So you do want to take it easy, and the power meter can actually help you that way, because you can set a kind of a conservative power target for yourself. Yeah. Maybe five watts less than uh, what you would normally run in the beginning, uh, so that you uh, end up fresh when you get to mile 17. Yeah. So uh, we are with Matt Fitzgerald, who you just like written everything. Yeah, um, every now and then someone credits me for a book I didn't write. I haven't written everything, but I've written a lot. He's written a lot of books. And uh, this is your new book, Life is a Marathon. Um, what's it about? Um, this one's a little different. Most of my books are about how to become a better, more successful runner. Um, this one is a memoir, so it shares, it celebrates the experience of running versus being about the sport of running. Uh, there's a great quote from Andy Burfoot, as we run, we become. Yeah. And so, in the book I say there are no easy lives, but running is a tool that we can use to make a challenging life a good life, a happy life regardless. So it tells my story, but also weaves in other runners' experiences of transformation as well. So good. So we saw the Dunkin' Donuts shoes yesterday. Well, this is the case. As you can see, it is quite the popular spot in the old expo. The different shoes here. The Kinvara 10s is really the thing. Look at that. Get First of all, yeah, well, What's actually up? a little video. Oh, let's do a video, Let's do a little man. video. So, Mike, happy birthday. Thanks, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, man. 45. Yeah. 45, man. What makes Boston uh, special for you here? Uh, well, for me, this is, my story is like I got into running just to run the Boston Marathon once. Um, that was uh, 1995. Um, what I, my friend uh, Vince Voisin took me. Wait, wait, how old were you in 95? Uh, I was like 20, 21. Okay. Um, that's when I decided to run, wanted to run the Boston Marathon. I didn't know you had to qualify. My friend's mom basically gave me like a little training program. I uh, sent away for an envelope. It used to be like a, in the mail. I uh, came back and said, what's your qualifying time? And I was like, yeah, I just want to run your race. Yeah. The new. There you go, man. There yeah. go. Some immunity, some, uh, some noon sport, great electrolyte uh, beverage. And you get the cool water bottle. The coolest water bottle. <laughs> yeah. Coolest of all. So we are with New Balance. And uh, what's your name? Brandon. Brandon, nice to meet you, Brandon. Nice to meet you. Uh, I was walking by, and this very cool shoe caught my eye. Yes. Yeah. And this very cool case, as I suppose, designed it. Yes. Uh, so, what do we got going on here? So, this is a new. Uh, New Balance 890 it just yeah. came out this year. Um, it is the Boston Marathon edition, so as you can tell, the color is very loud, very bright in your face. Yeah. Um, it's inspired by the Tulip Garden in Boston Commons, oh, cool. so it's a very festive springtime style sneaker. That's cool. Uh, but in addition to that, it's a fully knitted sneaker as well. It's one of the lightest racing style shoes that we have to date. So, we love Little Lemon, and uh, we're walking by, and we just saw her just like rocking out. We came by 20 minutes later, we saw her rocking out again, and it's like we've been here three hours, and every time I come by, she is dancing. Guys, we're gonna talk to Tina. She's got a little line, so I gotta wait my turn. So, we are with the Ryan Linden of Linden True Coffee, and you guys are setting up in such an official way This is so cool. Yeah, yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. Uh, I am Ryan from Linden True Coffee. I did the roasting here, but then uh, this weekend we did the grand opening of the Linden Lounge here at Trapsmith. Uh, it's a little pop up for this weekend, and then it's gonna be a little something coming down the road, and it's a staple for people to come and get good drinks in Boston. I, uh, are you doing, uh, I would have a cappuccino. Cappuccino? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or can I give you my, my off-the-menu favorite? I would love an off-the-menu favorite. All right, we'll do a little cortado for you. Let's do it. I made a little cortado there, so double, double shot espresso and then uh, three ounces of espresso. That is delicious. So Tina, the woman behind the mic, 
we are in person. This is so fun because we've been talking for a couple years now. Yeah. And we've never met in person. No, you're like a real person. Same thing. <laughs> Star across the way, just like that Stressed about anything for tomorrow, weather wise, or not to worry about it. No, to be totally honest, I've always kind of been a bit confused when runners have got like freaking out about the weather, unless it was a situation like last year, I get that. But uh, for me, Boston has always been, I always thought it was about the experience, about just doing it. So I, I love that you can run fast, but for me, it's always, I always thought Boston was about just accomplishing it. And so, not worrying about the weather. The only thing I am worried about is um, I've never run a marathon or a big race not as an elite. So, this is an experience getting to. Uh, you know, get on the bus tomorrow, be standing You're around. You're gonna be out with the common man and woman. I, uh, I was very <laughs> You have to be, you know, I know. milling around with the rest of us. I've been spoiled to death the rest of my life, so I'm learning what it's like to be everyone else. And, uh, it's gonna be fun and an experience in itself. We are on the corner of uh, Hereford and Boylston Street, which is the last turn. the runners are gonna take tomorrow. And I'm gonna go straight down the road, down the little finish line, or down the finish chute to the finish line, which is just up ahead there. And uh, it doesn't seem like it, but there's even like a little hill right here, which is just, you know, insulting. It's a little but baby anyway. hill. They little, can make it. Little baby hill, they can yeah. make it. Um, but we got through the expo, it was fun. Yes, we did. Lots of music, lots of fun going on in there, lots of stuff to look at and people to talk to. Yeah, it's, I still feel pretty good. It's a good. survival experience. I still feel pretty good with those uh, CBD treats. Oh yeah, that's Boy. right. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing too bad happened here. Nothing to too us. bad happened here. Anyway guys, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, of course, if you like this video, Hit that like button, drop any comments or questions down below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and uh, tune in for our live broadcast from the top of Heartbreak Hill tomorrow. You're gonna see all the action for the rain or shine. Rain or shine. Probably rain. Awesome.